welcome and welcome back to life of the muse i'm the muse this is my life and i'm trying to clear my mind The camera is going to be a little shaky because I'm going for a walk on this nature trail. Oh, um, I decided to get up and go for a walk today because I've been having a lot on my mind. And I'm struggling with getting it off of there. I'm honestly struggling with getting it off of there. I don't even know where to start. A lot of it stems from like the relationships in my life, romantic relationships, platonic relationships, relationships with my family. I've even been struggling like I grew up in this pretty tight knit church and it was tight knit. Um, of course, some of those people have went on to be with the Lord, but the ones that are still here. I'm always telling myself, you need to call so-and-so, you need to call so-and-so. Why do I experience anxiety before calling somebody? Somebody that I love, somebody that loves me back, somebody that would probably be thrilled to hear from me. Why would I experience anxiety before calling somebody? Why do I experience anxiety? Where did that shit come from? I remember when I was younger, I didn't even know what that word meant. I would hear, no shade. I would hear white kids say it, and I'm like, what the fuck is anxiety? But now that I'm older, in hindsight, black people just now started acknowledging those types of issues in their children or themselves. So, even being older and understanding stuff like that, being older and really seeing like the root of everything. I'm struggling with like communication right now. I'm struggling with wanting to tell people about themselves, but also like not caring enough to do so. And also like realizing that's extra work for me. Did nobody hire me as their life coach? Did nobody hire me as their behavioral specialist? Like, why am I out here overthinking your bullshit, trying to figure out, well, why did they do that? Why would they say something like that? Why would they feel that way? What's the root of, like, who cares? Not who cares, but like, I struggle with, I struggle with extending grace to people because the type of grace they want, they just want to be coddled and condoned. They don't actually just want grace. They don't actually just want understanding. And I struggle to give grace to people because those people don't be giving grace to me. <laughs> In the past couple of years, I done met some people. If they feel like they want to cuss you the fuck out, they're just going to do it. They're not gonna consider, this is a person I want in my life. This is a person I love and respect. I met some people to just be, and it's like, what? How do you become a big grown adult and you just feel like you could do or say whatever to whoever and they just gotta eat it? I think a word that I can just, let's, because I want to just summarize it, I want to be concise. Con inconsiderate, inconsiderate. I've met some of the most inconsiderate people in my life in the past couple years. And the funniest thing about them, they want to be considered. Why would so-and-so treat me like that? Why is so-and-so not responding to my text messages? Why would so-and-so say that to me? Why is so-and-so being so mean to me? And these same people, they, they're loners pretty much. Like, it's one thing to have a very small circle, but the three people I have in my head are people who don't have a friendship circle at all, for real. 
and they will tell you that it's everybody else's fault that they don't have any friends mm -mm. that don't work for me the fact that you are big and grown and you really the lack of self-awareness you don't have any friends because you're not a good person to be around you don't have any friends because you're not considerate enough to sustain five and 10 and 15 year friendships. You you don't have any friends because people don't desire to be around you because of how you act and the things you say and the fact that you're inconsiderate is shit. Um, treat others how you wanna be treated is real shit because what makes you, I'm the type of person, I'm gonna fight your fire with fire. What makes you start it? And then you don't like somebody's response. And so now that somebody's the bad guy, you literally started it. Why, like, lack of accountability and lack of self-awareness is really, really getting into me. And I'm, I have to just leave these people behind. Whether we're related or not, like, I have to just leave these people behind, but... Processing the emotions that comes with leaving these people behind is where the difficult part lies. And to be honest, I've just completely disassociated from my life. Like, that's why I'm on this walk. Just to sit outside, hear nature sounds. No screen time. Put my phone up, like, after I record this little segment. I just want to get grounded because I'm watching so many ignorant people around me. And it's like, there's no way that they're grounded. And I don't want to be anything like that. Let me go get my shit together. And chaos and negativity really do transfer very, very easily. Like, it, my life three months from now has to look completely different than it looks now. I'm going to hold myself to it. Y'all hold me to it, too. Do you remember how I told you I'm kind of crashing with some family right now? Family, friends of the family, whatever. Same thing. So, they have a olfactory sensitivity. <laughs> nah, they, they're really sensitive to strong smells. So... For the first time in my life, I'm going to be doing some nails outside because I have a specific nail that I want to wear to, um, oh, I didn't tell y'all we're going to a party today. It's kind of like a cocktail party. Um, Kalina's throwing it. She wants us to all make Halloween themed cocktails and bring them and it's a contest. So I have a boozy boo pineapple lemonade. And I'm very, very, very excited. I made some ghosts out of almond bark and milk chocolate to boozy boo. And then it's kind of boozy because it has um, Hennessy and Cointro. I thought about doing a sparkling wine float, but that's too much, and I don't want it to taste bad or anything. Um, I also don't want to spend a whole ton of money, because I already have. <laughs> I keep a little trash bag in my car. Because, you know, be eating candy. I cannot believe I'm doing this. But anyways, so I took a pineapple, cut it up, poured the whole bottle of Henny in there, and I let the pineapple sit for 48 hours. And then I came back and squeezed them, like hand squeezed them till there was nothing left. So I squeezed all of that Hennessy out of those pineapples, and then I took the Hennessy that they were just marinating in as well. Added that, like I said, the Cointreau. And yeah, 
I made a Boozy Boo Lemonade. So I saw this little ghosty trend on TikTok. That's what I'm hoping to do to these nails. I just have to find the rest of these. Oh, I see them right here in my face. And then here's the other hand. So they're already like st structured. I just need to encapsulate this. And then as far as filing and art, I can do that in the house because you can't smell that. <laughs> it's like 70 degrees out here. This is kind of, I might, uh, I might do this a couple times. I kind of like the, I, I like how this feels, this open air situation the magnet broke all right if you have nail stands like this and your magnet ever breaks put some nail glue in there put the magnet back give it 30 seconds and it'll work like new So I actually did file the nails outside because it just felt really good out there. It's six o'clock now. I'm eating some leftovers. I'm gonna do my face, design the nails. Then I gotta go get my cocktail from Melissa's house. Then I'm heading to the party. I wanted to be there at seven, but now I don't have to help set up. So getting there on time will be eight. I feel like I'm probably, I might be on time. I might be like 15 minutes after. We'll see. But I got to eat. You shouldn't drink on an empty stomach ever. But in your 30s, that's not a thing. <laughs> party starts in 10 minutes. I just spilled my oil in the floor, but clearly not dressed. <laughs> and now I have to make a stop. Well, two stops. I already had to make a stop, but now I have to make two stops. So it's a party, so it's not like, oh my gosh, you're late, you suck, but I wanted to be there. Don't pay no attention to my little stomach. I don't care. Oh, it's a bra in here, great. I don't be knowing where my bras are because I don't wear them. This is almond oil. Can y'all see my underwear? No, I don't think so. <laughs> we gotta get out of here. When I was little, my grandma used to roll my stockings up <laughs> all the way to the toe. And she would let me step in them. Cute little memory I have, like this. And she would sit on the edge of the bed, and she'd be like, "Okay, step in." And I would step in, and I would always like lean on her real heavy, cause it was like extra hugs in the morning. <laughs> and now I got to do it myself. Thank you. Concoction. Wig. 
mixed it up with the business already. I saw the presentation just like something. Give me a second. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, the one from the one to go is all good. Mm, it's just cinnamon sugar and it's a little bit of that, yep. Yeah. So get y'all a little rim on the cup. Yeah. Thank you so much. It's called a boozy food. It's, a a a it's almond bark and chocolate. Yeah. I, mean, I want y'all to try this uh, apple cider. Here, where you at? Do we have here? Because I feel like I'm going to wake up hating myself tomorrow, but I got to work. <laughs> so what all is in here? Okay. First of all, the fit. Yeah. I'm vlogging. You want to be on my vlog? Literally. Yes. <laughs> yes. That is so perfect. I want to dress up so bad. I got some little blood in my purse, but. Who love a good spin the block? All right, let's put my nails on. Okay, the two, the two uh, categories is most creative and best taste. I did you a favor. It's Hennessy. Oh, I'm going to die tonight. No. Just sip it slow. You'll be okay. fine. <laughs> What what kind of alcohol does yours have? Um, Blackberry Crown. Oh, you did. Mm. Okay, so brown. Okay. Yeah, I was scared. I was like, somebody gonna have some. This goblin juice tastes like a um, Jolly Rancher. <laughs> it's time for photos. Uh, I had a little bit to eat, a lot of bit to drink. <laughs> we take pictures. Yeah, let's take pictures. She getting thick. She getting thick. Mm. You getting thick. Your butt can be. I think so. Oh. I like to think so. Nice. I Best taste. 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 Best taste.